In this video, we're going to talk about different ways that hazardous substances can enter the body. There are four principal routes of entry to the body. Inhalation, where the substance is breathed in. Absorption, where it enters through the skin. Ingestion, where it enters through the mouth. And injection. Contaminants that can be inhaled include biological agents, for example, fungi or bacteria. Chemicals, for example, solvents during an activity such as sweeping or bagging, and spraying where the substance become airborne and enters the lung and the bloodstream and travels to other organs. Substances that come into contact with the skin can enter through the pores or maybe an open wound. Tetanus and benzene are examples of substances that can enter in this way. Ingestion is where the substance enters the digestive systems after being swallowed. This is not the most common and when it does occur, it can often be a result of poor personal hygiene. For example, not washing your hands before eating. The final route is where substances can enter the body by injection. This is a rare entry route and can be caused by accidents involving hypodermic syringes. The best way to avoid this particular type of accident is through good infection control training and the correct disposal of clinical waste. 